Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Lives Only, CBO Wellness. My name is Allie and today we are going to be talking about how to give better oral sex. Oral sex, I think, is such a wonderful tool to enhance your sex life and build intimacy with someone and find connection with someone and it allows you to unlock different types of pleasure with your partner depending on what type of oral sex you're performing on them, whether they have a vulva or a penis. Oral sex can be a really wonderful way to explore yeah, different avenues of pleasure aside from just traditional P and V penetration or any type of penetrative sex. Today I'm going to be talking about ways to have better oral sex and give you tips for giving oral sex and how to help you feel more comfortable around oral sex because it, like I said, it's a great tool to help enhance intimacy in your partnership and as long as it's consensual um, and it's something that you feel comfortable doing and your partner feels comfortable engaging in, it's a really great way to get closer together. So I'll be talking about giving oral sex to both penis owners and vulva owners and these are more like general tips that you can just tweak depending on what situation you're dealing with. So the first thing that I want to say is that confidence doesn't always come naturally when you're doing something for the first time. If anything, it doesn't really come naturally. And there's this whole concept of, you know, like fake it till you make it, try. And I think like with anything in life, you can apply the same concepts to oral sex where the more you do something, the more you'll get better at it. But you want to keep in mind that every time you're doing it with a different partner, they're going to like different things. So no two vulvas are the same, no two penises are the same, which means everyone's going to have different things that they like and dislike. And it's really a good opportunity for you to explore and communicate with your partner and practice your communication. What I mean by that is that when it comes to having oral sex, if you're A, feeling kind of like, you know, uncomfortable or you don't feel super confident or you don't know what you're doing, the best thing that you can do is just simply ask the person. So you can say, you know, can I touch you here? Or do you like when I do this? Ask the person even before you get started. So you can say like, how do you like to receive oral sex? Like, what are things that you like and dislike? Like maybe you like hard pressure, maybe you like soft pressure. You know, you can ask them where they like to be touched. Consent obviously is so key here. I think having these conversations before you start doing something can help you feel more confident and comfortable and also help the other person make sure that they are comfortable as well. Um, so yeah, asking them first. And it doesn't have to be a really formal or serious conversation. You can, you know, maybe over dinner or when you're on a walk, you can say like, you know, I had a dream last night about giving you oral sex or going down on you. You know, what would you want me to do if I were to do that? Or, you know, I really want to touch you down there. Like, how do you like to be touched? Having these conversations and making them kind of sexy and fun and helping build that desire is a really good way to go about it. And yeah, remember that, you know, something that you did with a previous partner might not be something that your new partner is super into. So really just treat it as a blank canvas and a way to get creative and explore and see what that person is into. So that's what I recommend first because, you know, you're only going to get confident the more you do something and, you know, the more you get to know someone. So you know, just trying to act confident and fake it so you make it isn't always the best way to go about, you know, having oral sex with someone for the first time. It's better actually to be inquisitive, to ask questions, and to get to know them a little bit first before uh, you go down there and, you know, might get confused. Okay, so that brings me to my second tip. So after you've had that conversation and you actually are giving oral sex, you might forget things or you could get overwhelmed or you might be wondering if the person likes it or doesn't like it. And sometimes when we ask questions, like, we don't want to ask long questions or we don't want to stop per se, um, or it's hard to read someone's body language and cues. So what I always recommend doing is asking short questions and having questions that are like either this or that. So for example, if you are giving oral to a vulva owner, you could ask them faster or slower. You could ask them up or down. You can ask them circles or straight. These are really simple questions because then that person can just say like, X or Y and it can help you get to know their body better, right? Similarly, if you're giving oral to a penis owner, you might want to say like, should I use my hand or not use my hand? Do you like when someone touches your balls or not? Um, you know, do you like this speed? Do you like this pressure? And just simple yes, no, right? And also encourage your partner to speak up and have them tell you like, 
if they feel comfortable in the moment um, to share things and think of it as like a sexy way to get to know each other and use it as a way to help increase desire and maybe even turn you on more in the moment because you can say, you know, I really want to like pleasure you or I really want you to feel good, um, like help me figure this out or like, you know, how can I make you come? Like turning the language into things that are exciting and desire seeking versus being uncomfortable or not knowing what you're doing or not confident in it. Um, sometimes just those simple questions can really help us. And then after, I would always debrief with the person and be like, what did you like? And obviously if someone's giving you oral sex, you always want to be like super kind and say, I really liked when you did this or like that was super hot when you did that or that really turned me on. Do you want to do anything differently? And like I said, Use it as a way to build that bond and get closer with someone and explore with someone. You should feel really good about wanting to give oral sex to someone. It should never feel like something you have to do or that you feel forced to do. You want to use it as like a tool to build connection that, you know, turns both of you on. Uh, and yeah, I hope these tips helped you. The one big takeaway I would just say is communication is key here. Simple questions are key. Asking them what they've experienced before that they liked um, and knowing that confidence comes with experience uh, and everybody's different. So it's going to take time to kind of build up that experience with each partner. So don't get discouraged, you know, have fun with it. And also if you are looking to enhance the experience, there's tons of, you know, like blow gels or vulva gels uh, that you can use during oral sex to make it more fun or make it taste better. And I know vibes only. I'll link their website down below. They have a blow gel. I haven't personally tried it, but I've heard good things about it. So if you're looking to like enhance your experience at all or try to make it a little bit better, um, you can always experiment with blow gel as well. Alrighty, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe as that really helps our channel and give this video a big thumbs up and share it with someone. As always, you can follow us at CBO Wellness on Instagram. We share lots of different relationships, sex advice on there, uh, and we love chatting with you in our DMs. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video and we'll see you for another video soon.